Hello guys, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading image maker and dating coach at Dior.com. Today I would like to really quickly bring up a really important topic. I want to speak about sexting. When sexting is appropriate in your relationship with the Ukrainian lady? Is it appropriate at all? Do Ukrainian ladies like sending a spiced up text messages? First of all, I want to tell you that if you haven't met in person yet, then sexting is a huge taboo. Don't send like your naked photos, don't send your half-naked photos too. Even if you are like super proud of your upper body and you work out like crazy, that's not a good idea if you are looking for a serious Ukrainian girl. If you are looking just for someone uh, to spend a night with, well, maybe uh, for Tinder you can do that. But if you are looking for a long-term serious relationship, that's not a good idea. If you had a date or two with a Ukrainian lady, is it appropriate to send her like a little bit uh, cheesy i would call it or filled with flirt or super passionate uh, messages in between the first and second date i wouldn't recommend you to do it try to uh, compliment her uh, try to be witty maybe a little bit goofy it will add you like extra bonuses in her eyes but if you are a foreigner chasing a ukrainian lady uh, then you will have to break the stereotype in her mind uh, that you are after her just because of sex. How can you break this stereotype and prove her that you really like her for who she is? By not sexting. That's easy. Do not compliment her body parts, like don't do that. Uh, if you want to tell her that she is sexy, if she is like a really sexy girl, like wearing, I don't know, a super short red dress, like high heel stiletto, and uh, all her image screams about sex, you can probably do it. But if she is not uh, uh, dressed like that, uh, then calling her like sexy, calling her pretty would be better. If you do not have any physical contact yet, any real physical contact, like kissing, uh, like hugging and kissing, not friendly hugs, no sex, uh, then sending like sexts or messages feel like this sexy energy or something like I would like to kiss you, bite you there. Don't do that, you will scare the girl off. If she is in her 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, this rule still applies. If the girl is initiating sexting, she is sending you uh, some images and stuff like that, I would be quite cautious, uh, like how many dates did you have, like what is your real intention. If you had like more than five dates, uh, then that's a nice signal, she likes you. If she's sexting you like after the first date, uh, I would be suspicious. Of course it's nice to say that, oh I'm so hot and this is why the girl keeps sending me like naked photos uh, right after I had the date with her, even though we haven't kissed or actually hold hands yet. Our guys, it doesn't happen like that in real life. Probably she needs something from you and what she needs is not something you will like. So to sext or not to sext, that's the question. Uh, what to do? Uh, to send some uh, passionate messages to Ukrainian lady, to send some provocative photos. If you are in relationship, and by being in relationship I mean you have met in person, you have spent some good quality of time together and you see that this acquaintance is actually going in the direction of relationship. You had some physical contact, you have been hugging, kissing, then you can start doing it. It actually will help you to bring your relationship to the next level. But if you haven't kissed yet and you had just one date or maybe two dates uh, you can uh, lose uh, all that wonderful chemistry all that uh, wonderful uh, attraction that you have managed to build you can scare the girl off so be careful with sexting i wish you all only successful sexting when the time is right with love svetlana mucha from dola.com